How's it going everyone? I wanted to do a quick summary of the three different muscle types that you'll be tested on on the MCAT. So without further ado, let's start quizzing ourselves. Number one, which are going to be the striated muscle types? To know the striated muscle types, you have to know which ones are going to contain sarcomeres, a specific type of arrangement of myosin and actin. And that's going to be skeletal muscle, and it will also include cardiac muscle. Smooth muscle does not contain sarcomeres. It does have myosin and actin, but they're not arranged in a sarcomere unit. Number two, which are going to be voluntary? Which ones do we have control over? And that's going to be the same as which are controlled by our somatic nervous system. Soma meaning body, so our body's nervous system, as opposed to the autonomic nervous system, which is more on autopilot, which we don't have control over. And that's going to be skeletal muscle. We don't have voluntary control over our cardiac and smooth muscle as much as it would be cool to pump our own heart on demand. And finally, which are going to be uninucleate. And that's going to be predominantly smooth muscle and cardiac muscle with an asterisk. Some cardiac muscle cells can actually have two nuclei, but for the purposes of the MCAT, they probably won't expect you to know that in the heat of the moment, so just treat them as uninucleate. And finally, you can expect a discrete question testing your knowledge of these classifications on the MCAT. So know it well. You'll see it again in preclinical in medical school. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thank you guys. Take care.